Hey, so I've been batch prepping and I know some people have had questions about batch prepping. So I just thought that I would send this video that could help you and maybe give you some ideas. So what I'm doing right now is I'm roasting or rather sauteing onions and carrots with turmeric and letting them get a little soft. Now what you can do is you can separately roast or saute vegetables like I'm doing with the broccoli because what you want to do is you want to have a variety of vegetables available to you, whether to throw into lunches or to throw into dinners. You know, for my lunch for the week, I've chosen to do soup. And so I've got chicken and I cooked a whole chicken in the crock pot and then I made bone broth from it. So that I'll have that as an option for a base. And then I put some Swiss chard from the garden in there and you can put any type of green kale, spinach, you know, anything that would work for you. And if you don't want to have soup or if you don't want to have soup for five days, don't don't add soup to, you know, all of your containers because this is for lunch. Right. And so what you could do, let me turn this off. What you could do is you could have chicken that you've roasted or that you've baked or that you've put in the crock pot or ground meat or, you know, lamb or any type of other poultry or, or other type of meat. You know, frittatas are great. You can make a frittata, which is a crustless quiche and you can turn them into muffins so that you'll have them for breakfast. But when we're talking about lunch and dinner, you want to have a variety of vegetables available to you. You know, roast sweet potatoes, roast sp spaghetti squash, cool them all off and then package them up and freeze them so that when dinner comes along, you can decide what do I want to eat and you can add the spices. But when it's lunch, I know a lot of us have to have that ready for when we're you know, working throughout the day, busy throughout the day. And so this is where creativity comes into play. So get your containers get your meat options. So for three of the days, choose chicken, two of the days, choose ground meat, or, you know, whatever your meat options might be. And then add maybe, okay, let's do Asian stir fry, Asian flair. So take vegetables that would be more stir fry, like, like carrots and onions and peppers and, you know, different, uh, perhaps broccoli or water chestnuts and add those to one or two dishes and then add coconut aminos, add, uh, you know, sesame seed oil, uh, things like ginger and, and um, turmeric, things that will make it taste sort of Asian. And then add scallions or green onions. I know some people can't do uh, the, the onions, so you can still do the green part of the onions if you can't do the whole scallion. But then let's say you want to make it Mexican. That's where you have chili or uh, garlic and onion. Uh, if you can't do garlic and onion, do asfetida, which is a, an alternative garlic spice that can help, you know, while you're unable to do garlic and uh, addressing those issues. Um, if you want to do more, I mean, you could do cayenne, uh, if you like spicy, uh, you know, get your salsa, get your guacamole, you can add that in. Um, if you can take foods that don't freeze well and eat those first and then eat the foods that do freeze well and eat those uh, later, because what I like to do is, you know, prep all five of these and then put half of them into the freezer and half of them I keep for myself. So batch prepping is just cooking a bunch of food all at once using your crock pot, your pressure cooker, your air fryer, you know, your oven and having them all ready and packaging up breakfast and lunch is what I recommend, but then having dinner kind of at leisure so that you don't have to fully cook the meal because it's already pretty much cooked. Uh, some people choose to cook all their vegetables beforehand and then do their meat, but then you can decide what spices and herbs you want to add. If you want to do Indian, think of curry, use coconut milk as a base you know, or almond milk or, or whatever cashew milk that might work for you. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions, but just thought I'd send this along. So keep going.